Let's speak to Guy Shalov, who's the executive director of Physicians for Human Rights in Israel, an NGO that documents and advocates against mass atrocities and human rights violations. He joins us uh, live from New York, but uh, but hails from the Israeli city of Tel Aviv. A very warm welcome uh, to Al Jazeera. So look, I mean, there appears to be not a single week that goes by where we don't hear of mass atrocities, mass violations of human rights taking place on an enormous scale. We appear right now to be staring into a human rights abyss. In terms of your organization's work, what are the most serious allegations of violations that have been documented by you? Right, so uh, we've been following uh, all violations, of course, since October 7. Uh, we have been following closely the uh, attack on Gaza and healthcare system, uh, which has basically destroyed the system. We've just seen another report by the UN uh, arguing that this, these are war crimes and crimes against humanity in terms of uh, violating people's right to health in Gaza. Uh, there are thousands, more than 20,000 people who await medical evacuations from Gaza, injured, sick people who cannot get treatment in Gaza and Israel is not allowing their evacuations. Uh, since May, uh, we, we've seen a few hundreds only letting out, being let out of Gaza to, to get immediate uh, medical needs. So we are working a lot on that, trying to get people, save people lives, basically. Uh, and that is Gaza, of course. The other uh, 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 region where we're working on is the West Bank, where uh, we, you just reported since October 7, we've seen a lot of settler violence, uh, ethnic cleansing of Palestinian communities. So we are uh, documenting that, clo working closely with communities and in prisons with thousands and thousands of Palestinians incarcerated uh, in the past year, um, the, the number of Palestinian detainees has doubled. Uh, the medical care that they are getting is uh, non-existent in many cases. For many months, they could not get any doctor appointments. Mm. So we've seen uh, dire violations of, of their right to health, uh, very uh, harsh uh, incarceration conditions that cause uh, 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 a lot of uh, health conditions. Uh, to the extent that more than 60 people had, had already died right. in Israeli custody in the past year. And talking specifically about prisons, it is what happens in the shadows um, that is causing a huge amount of concern amongst Palestinians and NGOs like yourself. When it comes to atrocities carried out behind bars, how do you, how does your organization go about accessing and collating all of these details of abuse given restricted access, uh, restricted access uh, I assume? Right. So first of all, yes, the, the access is very restricted. The, for example, the ICRC are not getting any access to any Israeli prisons in the past year, which is a dire violation, of course, of uh, their human rights and of uh, international law. Uh, we are getting information through hundreds of uh, 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 people who are uh, contacting their lawyers and their lawyers contact us. So we get a lot of uh, files, medical files, medical requests uh, that we, to, to, to be honest, we cannot even address uh, because the amount uh, the sheer amount and scale of of violations is so is so big we are also visiting tens of uh, of prisoners every month trying to evaluate their medical conditions their needs um, but we we've seen deterioration as long as this uh, condition it continues we see with more and more deterioration in health we we are uh, trying to address people who are now uh, that weigh 40 kilos and are in very bad health conditions after long months of not getting uh, the proper medical care, not getting uh, proper nutrition, um, we're not getting uh, basic uh, clothing. Now we're approaching the winter. Last winter, we visited uh, prisoners in January, in February, who are still wearing short sleeve uh, uh, clothing, not getting any uh, appropriate clothing. And of course, uh, diseases that spread around, uh, special skin diseases that spread around prisons in, in magnitude. I mean, we, we've seen like whole prisons uh, uh, contracting scabies uh, and no uh, medical treatment available for them. Yeah, it appears, Guy, that international standards of human rights have completely dissolved before our eyes there uh, in Israel. Guy Shalev, Executive Director of Physicians for Human Rights in Israel. Many thanks for joining us. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.